Hello and welcome back to my channel, Angelia Reads, and today I am going to actually film a wrap-up for you guys. So I'm going to be filming my, uh, my October wrap-up, it is October right now, my September wrap-up, and I usually read about 15, 16 books a month, but I have been averaging just like 8 to 10 books, so last month I did end up reading 8 books, but um, I had a lot of 5 stars and I really think I had a really great reading month despite me only reading eight books. Eight months is eight books is still great and I'm really happy that a lot of them were five stars. So I think for this month I'm just going to go in order of what I read them in and then um, I am ending with five stars so that's good um, and then next month I will try to put them in the order of least to least liked to most liked. But for this month and this monthly wrap up, I'm just going to do what is simple. Um, my daughter's going to be getting off the bus very soon. So I'm just going to kind of make this, try to make this a little bit quicker. It should be quick since it's eight books and just go in the order of what I read them. So I did start the month off with four or five star books, which is great. And I was like, what is this luck? Why do I have four or five star books? Like, this is amazing luck. So the first book that I read, I was in a football mood and I got this audiobook from the library. It was First Down by Grace Riley and it is part of the series Beyond the Play. It's the first book and I think the first one is a, well, I know the first one is a football romance and then I think we have a hockey and a baseball romance after that and I do have the next books on hold so I can read them as soon as they come in from the library. And this is about James and Bex. It is a tutoring and fake dating romance. Think of the, is it the deal? But with um, football and it was really, really good. We had a crappy ex that she wanted to make jealous and he was not doing too good in classes. So he needed some tutoring. And that is basically about the book. Um, it was just a really fun time and just not too deep, but a really great football romance and definitely am happy to be reading some more football romances and sports romances in general. And then next book that we have, we have Next to You by Hannah Bonham Young. And this is number two in the next series. And this has Lane and Matt. They are friends to lovers and they are renovating a bus that she got, I believe, I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was ADHD rep, and then um, there was also some grief rec um, throughout the whole book. So definitely go in with that little bit of a trigger warning that it is pretty grief heavy for her dad. Um, it's definitely a little bit heavy for me, so I just wanted to put that out there. But it really was a great story of them renovating this bus and him driving since he had the CDL license and him helping her renovate and um, it definitely had some spicy times in it as well and I, I just love me some friends to lovers so I knew I was going to love the book but I'm definitely glad that I did love the book and like I said that was another five star and I really am liking Hannah Bottom Young. I did read the um, next of kin book um, I think in August and then I am interested in her Christmas romance and um, I believe she has another book out called Out on a Limb. I am very interested in reading, the, reading that as well since her first two books that I read from her were a hit. So that was next to you. And then next book was for a book club and I read Disgrace by Brittany C. Cherry. This is a small town romance where her, her and her husband are in the middle of divorce and he cheated on her and um, she has to move just for the summer back to her small town with her parents. She is a preacher's kid so her mom has this very high expectation for her. Her mom actually tries to get her to get back with her ex-husband which is just absolutely crazy and mind-blowing to me but just basically like she has this reputation that she needs to re withhold and so moving back to this small town like she's like oh great now it's like I'm a teenager again she's living with her friend or sister and um then there's Jackson the town bad boy of course that kind of you know roughs her up a little bit makes her think on her own makes her form her own opinions on, on things because whenever she was with her ex-husband she basically just went along with what she thought she liked or what she thought 
you know, or what her husband thought he liked. So she's kind of breaking free from that, becoming her own person and discovering herself with Jackson. And it's, it's such a good book. So that is J with Jace, Jackson and Grace. Wow. And, um, yeah, that book was definitely very emotional and made me realize how much I do love Britney C. Cherry books. This was my second book from her and definitely won't be my last. I really need to dive into her backlist a lot more, but if you have not read a Britney C. Cherry book, I definitely would suggest um, maybe starting with Disgrace even, or starting with her Elements series, I believe it's called. Um, and I really do like Britney C. Cherry and Disgrace was definitely a five star. I loved them finding each other and finding who they are like separate and who they are together. So then the next book, the fourth five star in a row book was The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. So Sarah Adams, I have read almost all of her books. I think I only have two that I have not read yet. And I have loved like all of the books that I read from her. So I don't know what took me so long to read this, but Sarah Adams is like a low, no spice author. So maybe that's why like, I just really have to be in the mood for that kind of book, like the low, no spice book. But I figured I've been waiting for this book. I've been waiting to read it for fall and for football season. So this is the perfect time. And there is actually going to be a sequel coming out, I believe like next spring to this book. So I thought, let's get this book read and get it off my TBR. And it is again, another friends to lovers book. And it has some fake dating with Brie and Nathan. They have been friends their whole, um, I think, like since their, since high school, like their whole high school career. And then after that, and they started running together and they have like a weekly running date. And, um, the book starts off with like the, she, the book starts off with her going to Nathan's house for the run. And then their girl, her, his girlfriend is there and the girlfriend is jealous and all of his girlfriends are jealous of her, but she literally like does not care. She's like, well, He's always going to pick me, but like before his girlfriend every single time, which I thought was just crazy. And like the confidence that she had was like really great. Like she knew like sh he's going to pick our friendship between any of these girls, any like over any of these girls any day. So that was really cool. Um, and like the confidence that she had and the friendship that they had and he paid for her ballet studio. He started paying more rent on it and that she thought that the landlord just like just kept the rent low and decided to like be gracious and keep the rent low and just the friendship that they had and have and him helping her out even though she didn't want it um and just how the fake dating went that was really good as well and yeah really great another really great football sports romance and then the next book that i read um i decided to finally start Be Still My Heart by Emily McIntyre and Sav R. Miller. I gave this a four star. I have had this for like years since my, I know I got it for one of like, I think my birthday, not this year, but last year. And it had been recommended to me by Amanda by Gender of Gender Snapped Reads. And I am really glad that I finally read this book because it is a suspense mystery suspense romantic suspense book definitely was a little bit more high on the su suspense mystery like solving a mystery that's why i gave it four stars but it still was very very good i just thought that it could be like toned down a little bit but it was still very spicy really fun solving the mystery and going through the mystery i don't read a lot of mystery thrillers anymore so it was just that was good for me to kind of get back into that and it's a really good book to read for like sp spooky season or just in the fall time in general I think and it takes place off of the coast of Maine I believe and um, it's between Detective Salone and a lobster fisherman and it's just a spicy murder mystery good time and then the next book I read it was on audio and it was called Even If It Hurts by Marnie Mann I think that I heard McKay from Oh Hey It's McKay talk about this and that's why I read it and it is a love triangle book okay and I absolutely was loving this book like loving this book like so so good but then I was like this book is really short 
it's not really solving like it's not really coming to a co conclusion too good it was literally like to the end it was like who is she gonna pick who is she gonna pick it was so short and ended like abruptly that I had to give it three stars I could not but I still really did like it the three stars is not bad but it just was not what I expected it to be at all but it's still really good sometimes I do think about that book and like wow I can't believe that that book happened but that book was really really good I don't really have much of a synopsis just that it was a love triangle and really short kind of like ended abruptly but if you're looking for like a good um, audiobook to read that's a love triangle I definitely would recommend I read that on Hoopla and then next I finished off the Gold Rush Ranch, ser Ranch series by Elsie Silver and the, I finished A False Start and that is about Nadia DeLuca and it is a small town brother's best friend age gap with Griffin her her brother's best friend obviously duh and I really enjoyed it um you could see Nadia like growing into her own person because she was still like young I think she was like 19 and him letting her him letting her go letting her fix herself not letting her rely on him and like you need to go make yourself your own person and then come back to me and it was just so so good and I'm really excited to read the next series that she has and kind of get caught up with everybody else but I just really wanted to read the Gold Rush Rant series first so I definitely will be reading Flawless sometime soon and continuing on with that other series that she has. And then the last book that I read of the month was another five star and it was Muscles and Monsters by Ashley Bennett, a good monster romance. Definitely recommend for October or anytime you're feeling a monster romance. And it was a wolf novella and it had some plus size rep and he had a gym and then um, she wanted to get strong. She was a baker and it met, it started with him helping her pick up this cake like off the street like helping lift it up and she was like wow I really do need to get strong so I can lift these cakes on my own and then she, he was like well how about you come to my gym um her mom was really funny her mom was like yeah go get that wolf like go to his gym and the way that the monsters and humans were in this world together and they weren't scared of each other and she really wasn't scared of him being a werewolf she wasn't scared of his ex-girlfriend and the it was in a really good audiobook. I read it on audio and really happy that I ended my month with that book for sure. So if you have any books in common with me that you read last month or any books that I kind of put on your TBR or towards the top of your TBR, definitely let me know. And thank you so much for watching this video and sticking with my channel. Um, go ahead and leave a leaf emoji if you are watching till the end and I will see you in my next video. Bye!